how we look at challenges in our lives, what we even consider to be problems, depends highly on the state of our inner experience. So when I'm in a state of stress, of exhaustion, of having some essential need not met, the way that I will look at challenges in my life or at my work will be more of urgency, of I need to do something right now, and if I don't change this now, then everything is going to go to hell. Now, the mechanisms that kick in in those moments are very convincing, and there is an intelligence to them. It's a kind of survival mechanism of mobilizing energy that we have to get something done right now. So while these mechanisms are useful in actual emergency cases so that we get something done that needs to be done right now, they are not useful when it comes to things that require a long-term effort. So when it comes to improving your financial situation, growing your business, operating from such a stressed space will not lead to sustainable growth because you will get into a kind of tunnel vision where there's only one thing that you can see. You will deplete your energy levels much faster and you will not be open and receptive to opportunities that might come your way that look very differently from what you expected. And really the biggest risk in your business is burning yourself out before you reach the success that you're looking for. That is the number one thing that we want to focus on avoiding. Now to do that, what we need to practice is to keep coming back to a grounded, resourced, well-regulated space. This is especially important when you feel really stressed, when you feel like you have to do something right now. That is actually the most important moment to slow down to notice your inner state and to find ways to come to a more calm and grounded space so that you can attack certain problems with more space, more creativity and more of your intelligence being online.